Yesterday, Brandon and I concluded our series that we've been doing here at Madison called Altered, how the resurrection of Jesus Christ changed everything. And so to conclude this series, we opened up our Bibles to Acts chapter 1. And as we went to Acts chapter 1, we meet a resurrected Jesus that's getting ready to ascend into heaven. And, and one of the things that we pointed out is they're gathered together on this hillside. In verse 6 of chapter 1, it says this, So then they gathered. And the significance of that is that right before this time, if you look in the Gospels, that when Jesus had told them that he was going to die, they scattered. But now they've met a resurrected Jesus, so they gathered. And, and so it is with each and every one of us that if Jesus Christ just stayed on that cross and if Jesus Christ just died, we would scatter. But because he has resurrected and he is alive, we gather. And what we gather around as we talked around yes, about yesterday is this truth, this fact that Jesus Christ has not just risen from the dead, but the power that comes with that. And so then he tells his disciples that you will be my witnesses. And he uses that verse and that word there that is used over 400 different times in the Bible. And we looked at the different instances of it used in the New Testament. And what we talked about when we looked at that word is that witnessing is not necessarily something that we go and do. That witnesses, as we look at this text, that's who we are. That we are living, breathing witnesses of what Jesus Christ has done and is continuing to do in our lives. And so after he gave them this instruction to go from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria and then the uttermost parts of the earth, he, of course, ascended up into heaven and the disciples are just standing there staring. And one of the things that's interesting about that is that they had been evidently staring so long that Jesus taps these two angels on the shoulder and is like, hey, can you go down there? Like they are still just standing there staring into heaven. I told them what to do. I told them about the power. I told them about the promise and I gave them the plan but they just keep staring. And so those angels go stand there and, and are looking at the men. They're like, hey, the same Jesus that you just saw ascend, he is coming back. But here's what's implied. Yes, Jesus Christ is coming back, but you and I just can't stand there staring until he does. You know, each and every one of us have had different things in our life that have caused us to stare. Maybe it's a difficult circumstance. Uh, maybe it's a time of uncertainty. But what we talked about this past week as we concluded this series is that the power and the resurrection of Jesus Christ is not just learning about it, but remembering who we are because of it. And so when those difficult circumstances come, when those times of uncertainty that at times cause us to stare, if we understand that those times aren't meant to paralyze us, but they're meant to, to help us to discover who we are, then we'll step into them. And see, what happened as we continue to read throughout the book of Acts, and especially even just in Acts 1, the moment that they stopped staring was the moment that they started growing. They grew numerically. They grew in the fact that they started taking territory for Jesus Christ, and they also started to grow spiritually. And so yesterday we looked at that's exactly what happens to each and every one of us, the moment that we choose to stop staring, that we grow numerically. We start maybe certain things in our life that we have not fully given over to Jesus. We let him take that territory, let him own it. Or maybe for some of us, we start to grow spiritually. And we looked at even like these men, that spiritual growth is not even knowing what you need to do with your entire life, just knowing what you need to do next. And so the action step I gave you yesterday is to, to pray for an open opportunity this week from God, but not just to stare at it. Because maybe you're like me, you've just stared at, you've prayed for those opportunities, but you just stare at them. But to walk through that open door, to no longer stare, but to step into it. In the moment that you do, you're going to see growth numerically in the body of Christ. You're going to see Jesus start taking territory, and then you are going to find yourself growing spiritually. I hope you guys have a great week, and we can't wait to see you Wednesday as we kick off our summer series.